So President Biden has talked about people getting their booster shots uh, eight months after their second shot of the mRNA vaccines. Do you think eight months should be a hard and fast marker? Uh, what about people planning to travel six months after their second shot? Do they, is that not a good enough reason to get a, a booster, that third shot? Well, I think we have to look at the data showing when immunity actually wanes. And we actually haven't seen, there's certainly very little published data. It's mostly information on the Israel Ministry of Health website, um, a little bit of data coming from the Mayo Clinic and, and other sources. So we haven't really had the chance to review the full data to say when that set point is to give the third immunization. And I think the other thing that we need to do, Jake, is reframe this a little bit. We keep on talking about it as a booster Whereas I've thought all along this is a three-dose vaccine, and it was a three-dose vaccine because the way we had to give those first two immunizations, bang, bang, right in a row, just three to four weeks apart, because we we were in crisis, we were losing 3,000 American lives a day, we had to get everybody fully vaccinated. But when you do that kind of schedule, um, it almost guarantees that you will have waning immunity at some point. That's so, and that's that's the reason why it became a three-dose vaccine. The other piece, though, is we haven't seen whether we're really seeing breakthrough hospitalizations, yet we are seeing a lot of breakthrough infections. Efficacy is declining from over 90% to 40 to 50%, but that's for infections. Do we need to see that decline in hospitalizations as well? Or because of the long haul COVID that we're now seeing, even among uh, breakthrough vaccinated cases, that we want to boost on that, on that point. So the ACIP, which met today, uh, only set aside a small amount of time for this uh, for these questions. Pfizer's just recently applied for it, so I think this will come up at the next DCIP meeting. So Pfizer today indicated that it will submit vaccine data for children ages 5 to 11 in September, which is just next month, and possibly apply for emergency use authorization for that vaccine for kids in October. That means, theoretically, assuming that they get what they want, young children won't be getting shots until very late this year. What should parents do until then? Well, I think the most important is to make certain that everyone in the household who is eligible to get vaccinated get fully vaccinated because we know a lot of young kids are getting sick from their parents or from uh, unvaccinated adults uh, in the house. And I also think uh, it's going to be really important that, that you're, when your child attends school, that everybody in that school is masked and everybody who's eligible gets vaccinated.